Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry, Fry Fry, fabulous Fry Fry Friday. I don't know how else to say it. There's some fry in the fish room. Grab a snack and a beverage and stand by. All right, fishy folks, Michael's fish room tour. First, we've got Chewy and his ginormous cock. But before I talk about his cock some more, do me a favor, obliterate that subscription button. Just annihilate it. Gently boop the notification bell. And um, of course, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. If you wanna be a jerk and give me a thumbs down, that's fine. Just tell me why. Don't be one of those wimps that hits thumbs down for no reason. And uh, of course, when we're done, do me a favor, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Lots of plecos, lots of guppies, and uh, maybe something else. You never know. Go check it out. All right, fishy folks. It's been a while since I did a tour. I did a poll on my channel, and you guys love the fish room tours. So here we go. Uh, first over here, we have the Kitty Carbon Monoxide Detector. The reason why we have it is because over here, we have a blue flame ventless heater. And so if something goes wrong there, it's supposed to shut off. But if something goes wrong there and it doesn't shut off, boom, carbon monoxide heater, uh, carbon monoxide detector, which hopefully will annoy the dogs enough to wake us up if we're sleeping. Anyway, that's, you know, all said, all good and said, all done and all, uh, why can't I talk? I don't know. I'm just gonna leave that blooper in. So uh, yeah, Chewy's tank is dirty. Uh, it's not really dirty, it's just algae. I don't really care. Um, but Chewy's my Super Red Dragon Flower Horn. I got him uh, at Aqua Craze, and um, he's fantastic. He's got nice pearling. His cock is nice and big. It hurts when he bites me. Um, but yeah, you know, that's Chewy. Over here, we have the experiment going on. I mean, that is a betta in a 32 ounce jar with a little mome at the bottom and a uh, plant growing out the top. Look at it, Pothos. You can see the roots sucking up all the nitrates. Yeah, that's how it works. Here we have a bunch of food. Um, we have the Excalibur, which is what I feed Chewy. Check out ExcaliburFH.com. And a uh, link will be down in the description, but that's all pretty much all I feed Chewy. Occasionally I give him some of these Ultra Pellet Predator from uh, Cobalt. I do feed those to Han and Leia. Um, here's the original original well i had a little issue so the thing fell out but here's the regular uh excalibur and then here's mass effect which gives him a nice big cock and intense red which gives the head of his cock a nice color so let's move on we have uh my two oscars there's han and leia down below and i put my gibbous up pleco in here he's probably in that cave he's been pretty much stuck in there let me tell you a little story i don't know if you remember but the bottom of this tank used to be a disaster and so I decided to get some um, wave makers to help clean it up. And then I, was, I have a hang on the back that's currently not working that would suck it all up. I, I left for Las Vegas. I came back and it was clean. I don't understand. All right, let's move on. I want to hear what you have to say about this tank. Is this bad for fish? I mean, you know, there's uh, lemon blue eye plecos in there breeding like crazy. I wonder if they just had another spawn. So you can see some little ones over there eating some kelp wafers. But there's like little, little ones hiding. Anyway, it gets like this because I overfeed the hell out of it and I pour a lot of uh, French cut green beans in there. So here we have a betta that's for sale. If you're interested, shoot me an email. We'll work something out. And there are some calico plecos in there. All right. Uh, what are these? Platinum red. Platinum red. I don't remember what I call them. They're on the website. Platinum red dragon guppies. Red platinum. Platinum red dragon guppies, I think. Breeding away. There's also some uh, albino bristlenose in there. And I just put some more moss in there because I realized, although I have fry, I don't have a ton of fry. So we got to give them some more hiding spots. Here we have the half black red grow outs. Uh, I had a couple females in here and I sold most of them. I had two left, adults, and uh, one of them passed and the other one's probably hiding. 
looking for a place to drop some more fry. Last guppies, got them from my girl Karen. Breeding away, very hardy, very prolific. There's a ton of fry in here. Um, I don't know what that was. It looked like it was some food stuck on the top, so we just moved it. There's also some um, plecos in here. I think they're long, thin plecos. You can see all the crap on the bottom, but I think plecos like that, so I leave it. There's my heater. Uh, it's probably about 85 degrees in here. Over here we have the mystery cichlids that I got with those platys I'm gonna show you in a second. If you have any idea what those are, now they're a little bigger, please tell me. And of course, this is a albino pleco growouts. I may or may not put all the growouts in here for my albinos. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get to, um, but it is a good tank for them. So not really sure, haven't decided. Moving on. We have the platys I got, and there's babies in there. You can see babies swimming around in the back. There's also some chocolate plecos in here that uh, Mike from Mile High Pleco sent me. And uh, I lost one of these platys yesterday. I came home, she was dead, floating. And it uh, looked like she had some um, internal bleeding or something. I don't know if she was pregnant and she got all bound up. I don't know, but hey, it happens. Down here we have nothing. That's an empty tank. Black panda guppies take a look over here lots of them can't wait for it to get warmer and may start shipping over here we have some mutts just growing out over here and over here we got a couple of babies fry fry friday pleco babies look how cute the super reds are what is there like 200 in there i mean they're everywhere there's definitely been two batches because there's two size look there's one look at his belly it's so cute. Look at it, if it would focus. All right. They're, uh, I don't think that's actually one of the parents. They're quite a bit bigger and they've been uh, hiding in caves. I think that's one somebody sent me to add genetics to the line. All right, over here we have the Metalhead Yellow AOCs. I don't know, I just made it up as I was talking. Uh, oh, I shut this light off so there wasn't such a glare looking at Chewie's cock, but. We gotta light it back up. You can see there's fry in there. Um, these were the, I think they were called green. I don't remember what they were called when, when I got them, but they have seemed to lose some of their color. They're pretty much like tuxedo AOCs, but the males have that metal head. So I think I'm gonna go with the metal head black tux AOCs. That sounds good. You know, the more names, the more expensive they are, so. Um, over here, we have some more Super Red grow outs, lots of Super Reds. And then these are the uh, Japanese Blue Swords that I, I sold to uh, a customer in Puerto Rico, and he bred the crap out of them and wants to start shipping. And he said, hey, Mike, would you mind if I send you some free guppies as a test on how I ship? And he shipped them to me. I gave him some pointers. I mean, they all, they all came in great shape, but I gave him some pointers. And uh, now we're just letting these grow out. You can see there's one male, lots of females, and uh, lots of babies. Here we have the Red Russian Lace Guppies from Super Breeder Doug. There'll be a link to his tour in this general area. I did a two-part tour of his fish room. It's really long, but he's an IFGA uh, breeder, breeds lots of fancy guppies. I mean, they are spectacular. So he just he grabbed me a scoop of these bad boys, and we're going to let them grow up and see what they, they look like. Hawaiian snake skins and uh, calico plecos. Look, there's one over there, pretty nice. These uh, Hawaiian snake skins are Hawaiian snake skins are pretty nice. They're kind of like grass guppies, but um, I, I bought them and it looks like there's another batch of fry in there. That is fantastic. Just means more money for me, yay. Um, more super red grow outs. I gotta sort of combine them, figure out which tank I wanna combine them and there they go. Uh, we fed some Pleco pellets that somebody gave me as a sample. They seem to really like them, but they're really expensive. Um, so these are black Russian guppies. Black Russian? I think that's what they're called. And I got them from Super Reader Doug. He uh, gave me like a trio or maybe three females and a boy. Maybe five. I don't remember what he gave me, but they're just doing their thing in here until they breed. 
Uh, here we have some red cobra guppies, females, and another batch of cobra guppies. And then the males are in this grow out tank over here with some black Russian males and some of those uh, jade head tuxedo AOCs. All right, moving on, folks. These, I still haven't changed the name. I, I call them, I thought they were dark purple mosaics, but I think they're dark purple Moscow's. I think I just read them wrong, and when I printed the thingy thing, the label, it was, it was wrong, so. Uh, there's been some frying here, not a whole lot. The, the tanks seem to get this film on them from uh, the humidity, although it's only about 40% humidity in here. See, there's a baby. There's a couple in there, not a whole lot. I gotta, you know, I'm just letting them do their thing for now. Uh, these are, damn it, I forgot the name again. My local fish store, the owner, his cousin breeds them. And uh, I've gotten them a couple, once time, one more time before, and after about a month they all died. And I think I've lost all my females already. So probably be my last time. Um, once I uh, get some time this weekend down here to check these tanks out, if there's only boys, I'll throw them in with the mutts. Medusa guppies. Also a couple of babies in here, which there you could see some there, but these guys are looking wonderful. Uh, it's funny, Super Breeder Doug and I talked about Medusa guppies and Galaxy guppies and Nebula Steel guppies all being the same thing. I have Nebula Steels and Medusas, and they do look similar, but look at that female. She is freaking spectacular. Spartan my French. Oh, look, there's all the fry coming out. Hi, guys. All right, here we have the half black red males that I have grown up. Just chilling. I separate the males and the females uh, sometimes. The males seem to grow bigger, the females seem to grow bigger, and of course, more spawns. All right, if, if you have purchased Jarwee Lazuli guppies, here is the actual growth. They were born in November, and they're still tiny, and I still can't sex them. So uh, I've been really overfeeding this tank. There's two filters in there. There's two water change lines in there, and I still can't sex them, so yeah. Empty tank with some Java moss. Uh, somebody sent me this Java moss for free. I just paid for shipping, and I can't remember his name, and I suck. I don't remember, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll remember and write it in here. All right, moving on. Fish room tour, Michael's fish room. These are the project guppies. They are black Moscow males and red cobra females. And uh, no fry yet, none, zero. Boo. Another empty tank. Here we have half blacks, lots of fry. I'm gonna be having a special for these when it gets warmer because I've never, I think I've only sold them once, but it's a nice little guppy. Simple, easy, cheap. Here are my Tamanaka Maple Leafs. If you remember, this is the tank I had the disaster in. It was like 86 degrees and I couldn't figure out why. It was because there was a heater in there that had a malfunction and I'm an idiot and didn't see it. See, the heater's still back there. I just unplugged it. Uh, basically because I have no place to store it. I should just throw it away, eh? Yeah, that's what I should do. What did I turn Canadian, eh? Uh, these are some purple deltas that really, they just, they scare me. Like, I don't know where they all go. All of a sudden I'll have some babies and then nothing. I don't know. Uh, this is a mutt tank from outside. You can see one male, bigger male, looks spectacular and a bunch of little fry. Just letting these grow in here, see what happens. Eventually I'll, I'll put them all together with the other, other mutts when I need the tank. Here are the purple nebula steels. Uh, looking great, they're on the website. They really look fantastic. And here are purple delta guppies, which have sort of lost their luster. So they basically became mutts. And look at that female, she is jacked up. Chewy's gonna eat her in a second. Jacked up, bro. Sunset Cobra Mosaics. Uh, a subscriber of mine made this line. I don't know if he's the originator of the line, but he says he put two guppies together and this is what they look like and they are breeding pretty true and I bought some from him. And uh, they've dropped some, some fry, they've spawned. And uh, yeah, just let them grow out, see what's up. 
Uh, it's a great looking guppy, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what their babies look like. All right, albino bristle nose breeding tank, also cloudy water, but um, there's gotta be another 200 fry in here. Of course, some of them are hiding, some of them are eating. Um, maybe there's not 200, maybe there's only about 180. Anyway, there's also some guppies in here. You can see there's one of the guppies. They just chill. I'm um, letting them do their thing. If they breed, great. If not, whatever. They were sent to me as a gift. Not sure if I'm going to sell them once they are born or once they breed. All right, mutt tank. So here's the deal with the mutts, people. I'm sitting down. I'm a little tired. Here's the deal with the mutts, peoples. If you want mutts, I sell them in five packs or two packs. The two packs are really if you uh, buy... If you subscribe to my aquarium box there's a coupon code in there for uh two free guppies two free mutt guppies i forget i forget what the whole deal is i should probably look but my aquarium box anyway they come in five packs usually i sell them three males sorry three females two males and i just scoop and see what i get if you want specific colors i will be happy to try but remember they're mutts so this one looks like it's got a yellow tail, but it it might have blue and red guppy gene in it. So they don't breed true. If you're looking for a project, these may or may not be for you, but if you're looking for great hardy guppies and you don't want to spend, you know, lots of money for pure guppies, mutts are where it's at. The reason why they're genetically dominant than most um, pure strains are, they have many many different genetic makeup in them which makes them stronger like that that black moscow with the jacked up tail i don't know if that tail got jacked up or he was born that way that's interesting he's really small i think he was born in this tank huh i'm gonna have to take a look at that guy but i mean like like look at that yellow that flame tail this yellow and red one right here that is pretty special pretty special and this one also, they're all special. Lots of fry. More mutt tanks down here. Little Endler action going on. Little uh, American Koi disaster. Lots of fry. A lot of guppies in this tank came from a pond from a subscriber of mine. I went to go pick them up. And uh, there was like 50 guppies in there. They all look like females and they all were bland. But you can see them growing in nice. Like this, that one is nice. I might have to take that one. More mutts and more mutts sometimes i try to put like blue mutts in here red mutts in here different mutts in here but they're mutts so that's what happens right all right did we get the top row we didn't get the top row but i'm sitting we're gonna stand <gasps> that's what happens when you're old uh tanaka maple leaves half blacks oh we did do the top row all right nebula steel guppies got these from keith kje aquatics was getting out of the guppy game, and this was payment for me helping him get a Subaru. If you don't know, I work for Subaru, and I can get you a letter to get you a great deal. 2% off cost, but whatever. Also, there are some Plecos in here. Now, I have a problem. This tank is way overstocked. It's a 10-gallon. Plecos are poop machines. You can see how many fry are in here um, and how many adult guppies. So I have to find one, like an extra 20-gallon, like probably that one down in the corner, and... Uh, probably take out the plecos and uh we'll see but that's a project i mean there's a lot of fish in here so here's what you have to do to take out all the plants and put all the plants in the tank you're putting the fish in because you don't know if there's fries stuck in there it's either that or you put it in chewy's tank and chewy has uh delicious tender and delicious snacks then i gotta catch out all the fish including the plecos so I'll probably drain the tank by half. That'll make it easier to catch. Um, I might come down here when the lights are off and try to catch them while they're sleeping. That seems to make it a little easier. But, you know, it's, it's probably half hour to an hour to, to clean out this tank. And I'm lazy, so I haven't done it. All right. I sold some cribs. I, I, I got a package deal with cribs and those platies down there and the strange cichlids that are in the albino bristlenose tank. And uh, so I have an adult pair of cribs, and I sold them. And then I had what I thought was like, I don't know, eight or nine 
fry, but now they're sub adults. And I think there's, last time I counted, I think there was like 15 or 14. There's a lot. There's also plecos in here, but they're hiding. They're scared. All right, adult albino bristle nose. Um, I could be persuaded to sell uh, a female and possibly a male. See him right there? Because I can't get these guys to breed for nothing. I don't know what's going on. I have all different size caves, all different kind of caves. I feed the hell out of this tank. Um, I don't, I've tried the cold water trick. I can't get these guys to breed. I suck. I don't know. Black Moscow is my original line. They just had a uh, fry. I think actually two females dropped fry because I think they're different sizes. Now I could be wrong. You can see one way in the back. Let's see if I can, see if I can. See, there's one. Um, so I came down and I saw really, really tiny ones. And then like a week later, they were a little bigger. And then I saw tiny ones again. So I don't know if it was one or two. I don't know if it was the same drop just at different times, but you know what I'm saying. We got some work to do down here. There's an empty tank that has to be drilled and cleaned and plumbed. And then a 10 gallon, I'll go there. Oh, let's get the chair. We're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done, folks. How's your snack and beverage? All right. Dumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics. These are the ones that won first place at the Keystone Clash. Look at how spectacular they are. They're on the website, Pairs and Trios. Spectacular. Probably my favorite guppy in the fish room. I mean, it helps that they won first place, but... Sometimes you get them a little silver, and then sometimes you get them a little more dark, like that one. But we're just letting these guys breed, because I have a feeling when the weather breaks, I'm going to sell out of these guys. So, there's a ton of fry in here. They hide. They come out when I drop in the uh, Smartinia from Cobalt. They love that stuff. In fact, here's some right there. Here's a toolbox. I don't know if you know Rich from Rich's Fishes. I was looking for something for the fish room for my workbench and uh we found this and he made me go buy it and he paid me for it and he's like keep it if you want and if not give it to me next time i see you we've never actually met he lives in long island about two two and a half hours away from me anyway rich's fishes wish he still made videos shout out to rich more mutts these guys are interesting because they breed like 75 percent true look at that ginormous female but not true enough for me to sell them as like a line. So I just, they're just kind of mutts. Uh, very hardy and prolific as are most of my fishies. Ooh, look at that one, that one's nice too. All right, we saw the red cobras. We saw the other red cobras. We saw everything, we're done. Done. I gotta do a video on the air system. The air pump is up there on that shelf. And this yellow line is the gas line for my new heater. And of course my auto water change system, which will move slowly over here so you don't puke up there. Maybe I'll do like a, a systems video for the Michael's fish room. Let's see if I can turn this camera around. No, I probably can't. Stand All by. All right. So, damn, I look good. So, um, yeah, that's it for Michael's fish room. You can see back there i have blue airline and, and clear airline i'll talk about all of that water line <coughs> i'm fine i have a little spigot right here if you ever do anything do it yourself i don't like these shark bite um spigots it's hard to to get a hold of and get uh friction no get traction get it's hard to open harder than other kinds so i'm babbling because you know this minute's this minute I'm babbling because this video is like 25 minutes long and I'm tired. It's been a long week. I got one more day left. Fry, fry, Friday. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to check out uh, michaelsfishroom.com. Smash that subscribe button gently. Boop! The notification bell. Check out my boy Scott and his girl Liz. King and Queen Cichlids. And um, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. Peace, yo. There's also plecos in here. Calico pleco, plecos, plecos, plecos. All right, fishy folks, as usual, 
a disaster. I mean, look at my workbench. Luckily, it's too cold to ship fish or else I'd be screwed because I don't even know where to be. Look, there's a shirt. I don't even know why there's a shirt. I'm almost out of green beans. I got this is stuff, you know, for the fish room that I have to fix. Not fix, but maintenance. This might be a, oh, it's a, it's a 150 watt car inverter. I bought it last year for, who cares? All right, fishy folks, let's get started with the fish room tour first. Disaster, enough of that. Len, let's go, let's go over here. Guys, before I show you the fantastic cock that is Chewy, look at him. So hold on, I have this, this thingy thing, which is supposed to help with reflections. Look at that, that's my finger. Ooh, yeah. All right, fishy folks, let's start with cock and his ginormous Chewy. I said that backwards. All right, fishy folks, let's start with Chewy and his ginormous cock. I think it's gotten bigger since the last time we've looked at him. So, uh, real world, that's what his tank looks like because the, uh, the magnet fell down there and I just haven't picked it up because, you know, he, uh, he'll rip my finger off of my hand in there. So, I have this new lens thingy thing, which is why you see my finger and trying to help. There, that's better. A little less uh, reflection. Nope, that kind of still sucks. Let's, uh, that, that might be a little better. I don't know, it all sucks. All right, fishy folks. Welcome to Michael's Fish Room Tour. First, we have Chewy and his ginormous cock. But before I move on, do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? We really appreciate it. And then, uh, you know, obliterate obliterate annihilate just destroy the uh subscription bell button subscription button god damn it 